hello people of god this is my jacob's way tv and this is episode 29 how have you been i am the p2p singer i need to make this particular video to let you know what eventually happened to me and what god said to me the lord's verdict towards my leaving the place of my primary assignment as it were to go to the airport to work I, I had already said to you before the lord told me to decorate the bush i went to decorate the international airport hmm. there is a lot of difference between the two but what god wants is what god wants and what god wants is usually what is different from what we want my pastor, Pastor Ayo Ebeolu, a prayer warrior and a man of, man of the mountain, he was using his spiritual eyes to follow me and he knew about all the details of the business transaction and when it looked like I was not going to be paid, he was pained and he kind of literally made up his mind that he was not going to let God rest day or night until the woman that seemed to have cutted away all the profit would come back with my own portion. My pastor could pray the heavens down and he taught me to do the same thing and he told me I know you have contacted this faith that is up there but don't ever come back to tell me that God told you that you should not pray this woman into paying your portion of the money <laughs> it was very stern I knew it was the love of a father for a spiritual daughter when I returned to the bush as the Lord told me to return and stop wasting my time I was still concerned about how I was treated by that woman and I kept reporting the matter to the father and I kept asking him to avenge me of my enemy. I prayed ceaselessly for about three months concerning this matter and one day the Lord was ready to answer me and he asked me one question or two or three he said to me when you went to do that contract of the international airport where were you supposed to be i kept quiet for a while and i said lord you asked me to stay on the streets beside this bush he asked me again where were you I said I was at the international airport so he asked me what did you come back with I kept quiet for a while and I said to him father I came back with nothing so he asked me why are you crying to me day and night to avenge you of your enemy has it not occurred to you that I used that person to beat you I was quiet I was meditating and it was gone there is this scripture that I have always loved because I dwell on it a lot and that is 2nd Samuel chapter 7 verse 14 God was talking to David about Solomon let me start from verse 12 second samuel 7 verse 12 but i'm going to 14 i'm interested in 14. and when thy days be fulfilled don't forget i said god was speaking to david concerning solomon and thou shalt sleep with thy fathers i will set up thy seed after thee which shall proceed out of thy bowels and i will establish his kingdom 
verse 13. He shall build an house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. Verse 14, where I'm going. I will be his father, and he shall be my son. That is, this is where I'm going. If he commits iniquity, I will chasten him with the rod of men and with the stripes of the children of men. Chasten, just instead of chasten, say beat. I will beat him with the rod of men. It is like taking a human being, a whole human being, from the side of his head and using it, using it to, as, as, as a cane to beat another human being. Say, so, I will... I will, I will chasten him with the rod of men and with the stripes of the children of men. I always tell people, when your life is not moving forward, you know, you get to one place, people who are supposed to be nice to you, they are fighting with you and barking at you. You go out to the bus stop, somebody is shouting at you. You go to the office, somebody is telling you, what are you doing here? You better start to ask yourself, is, is God not chastening me? I hope God is not beating me with the word of men and with the stripes of the children of men. And God, in actual fact, did that to the children of Israel many times in the Bible. He used many nations to beat them. Although we will come back later to judge the nation that beat his people. Because usually the nation that he has chosen to use to beat his people are usually not very good people themselves. They are the people of God's judgment that he will still punish even if he has not used them to beat his people. God will not use a good man to beat a good man. I've, I've come to that conclusion. If he does that, then it will not be fair. And so let's look at Ezekiel 25 uh, from verse 3 from verses 3 to 4, maybe a little down. It says, And say unto the Ammonites, Hear the word of the Lord God. Thus saith the Lord God, Because thou sayest Aha against my sanctuary, when it was profaned, and against the land of Israel, when it was desolate, and against the house of Judah when they went into captivity. Verse 4. Behold, therefore I will deliver thee to the men of the east for a possession. And they shall set their palaces in thee and make their dwellings in thee. They shall eat thy food and they shall drink thy milk. That is a judgment against the people that said aha against God's people. Hmm. So God uses people to beat people. And look at Ezekiel quickly, chapter 26, from verse, from verse 2. Son of man, because that Tyros had said against Jerusalem, Aha, she is broken, that, that was the gate of the people. She is turned in, unto me, I shall be replenished, now that she is laid waste. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, that is verse 3, Behold, I am against thee, O Tyros, and will cause many nations to come up against thee, as the sea causeth its waves to come. In, in in Ezekiel 36 verse 2 from verse 3 the Lord said thus said the Lord God because the enemy has said against you aha even the ancient high places are ours in possession therefore prophesy and say thus said the Lord God because they have made you desolate and swallowed you up on every side that ye might be a possession unto the residue of the heathen and ye are taken up in the lips of talkers and are an infamy of the people. Therefore, ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord God. Thus saith the Lord God to the mountains and to the hills, to the rivers and to the valleys. I ask you to read the rest of the story. God uses people to beat people. So the, the Lord has used that woman to beat me into some kind of sensibility. It sensitized me to the fact that God needs to be obeyed and that you don't waste your time disobeying God. The, I've, I've told you the anxiety, the trouble, the, the physical efforts, everything I put into that contract at the international airport and I got nothing from. 
it's not worth the trouble it is it was like hitting my head against the thorns it was getting my head and that's what many of us are doing the lord says do this and you go and do another thing you are just going round and round and wasting your time and hitting your head against the stone or whatever and then you are still crying, crying foul and you are still saying to god why are you doing this to me hmm. you know the lord is not the kind of person you can push around he's king over all the kingdoms of men and at the end of the day he has good plans for you not of evil and if he's not hard on you like that you wouldn't you wouldn't get to be on your way this is my jacob's way tv i hope you have learned something from there i am dupi dupi singer please subscribe hit the not notification bell don't forget to share and leave a comment and like i'll be back god bless you for watching i love you